What's going on guys? This is my first video I've done like this. I wanted to finally show you guys my beautiful face because I am pretty sexy. But I wanted to go over some of the phones that I've been using lately. Uh, I've been using the Galaxy Note and I love it. This phone is the best phone I've ever used. Not, not, I'm not kidding. It's a great phone. Um, this is with AT&T and I will say that Samsung sent this out to me for review so it's not my phone that I purchased so uh, I just want to let you guys know that just in case you may think I may be a little biased but uh, Samsung also sent me this phone and I don't like it I hate I do not like the Galaxy Nexus this phone is laggy uh, the Verizon version is I've heard better things about the GSM version battery life is abysmal um, I use the I like the widgets I like everything with Android ice cream sandwich in its purest form is very good the fluidity or the cohesiveness as you will with the entire Android ice cream sandwich operating system Android 4.0 is just awesome with that being said I've always hated touch with this I've hated it I've always hated it and I will say that because of the size of the screen the resolution is 5.6 1280 by 800 uh, it's a super AMOLED screen uh, looks beautiful colors pop uh, the they actually adjusted the operating system to actually compensate for widgets and the icons. As you can tell, I can put five icons now in a row. Uh, everything works good. It's very, very well put together. There's no lag. There's no stuttering. I can go through my entire day without really stressing about how am I going to use my phone. Am I going to turn off Bluetooth? Am I going to turn off Wi-Fi? The battery inside here is very large. It's comparable to, I would say, the Galaxy Tab 7.7. Uh, it's very nice. You have an 8 megapixel camera on the back. You have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. I would prefer it to be on the bottom, but that's just me being a stickler. You got the charging port on the uh, bottom. I actually took this off the hook this morning at uh, 7.15 in the morning, and I just had to put it on a charger. So it is literally 6.15 right now as I'm filming this video. Uh, excuse the, the quality of this camera. I'm using the camera on my iMac, not my iMac, my MacBook. I didn't want to use a high quality camera because what I'm going to start doing is doing more videos like this where I'm just talking to you guys and telling you what I think about these new phones that are coming out. Uh, more about the Galaxy Note. I didn't think that I would be using this pen. I thought it would be a gimmick. I thought it was a niche product. It really is a gimmick and it really is a niche product, but I found a lot of use for this. For one, draw something. I just, I'm addicted to that game now. Um, two, the S Memo app that's on here is very, very cool. It's very useful. Uh, you can change the size of the pen, it, make it look like a marker. You can write in pencil. It looks like a pencil. You can actually type on here. So if you want to do the old fashioned way, you can do that. But things just work. And it's very, very, very sensitive. You know, I probably should have done a thicker font, but here, here we go. Just like that. Things are very, very nice. Uh, one thing, I, my big problem with the stylus and the writing on here is everybody writes like this with your palm on the table. And you kind of write, hey, like that. Now, by habit, I like to put my hand on the actual phone. That triggers whatever, a long press, they think I'm trying to zoom in. So it's kind of awkward to learn to write where you're kind of above the surface. So that takes a little bit to get used to. You're going to have to get some use, get used to that, but it gets better. It gets better. Over time, you get used to it. Um, one thing I'm very excited about is the Android 4.0 update that's coming out, uh, Q2, which is literally in a couple days. Um... I think that will change the game when it comes to this S Pen. Uh, in my professional life, uh, I do a lot with flowcharts and process flows. So if you go on YouTube, I'll probably put a link to it in the description. If you go on YouTube, you'll see a point where in the new upgrade, you can actually do flowcharts. And you can do other stuff like postcards and birthday cards and stuff like that. That is something that Apple has not even attempted to try. 
because uh, according to Steve Jobs, a tablet needs to be 10 inches, and a tablet, if you have to use a stylus on a touchscreen device, your touchscreen is wrong. So, uh, no, this is a great device. It is very useful. I love it. Uh, other than that, you guys already saw my review for the Galaxy Nexus. I don't want to pretty much tell you it's the best phone out there because it's not. But the only reason why I like this phone, the only reason why I like this phone is because it is a pure Android experience. I love the skin. TouchWiz is not bad. Moto Blur, what do you call it? The Motorola application portfolio, whatever. Skins aren't that bad. They provide some functionality. Motorola has the Moto Active and the, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Moto Actions and stuff. That stuff is great. If you really look into what it does, that's pretty good. There's apps out there on the market that can mimic it and you can do it all on here too. But they have a nice little system on Motorola. Motorola has a nice little system on their stuff. Same thing with TouchWiz. If that was an all stock Android device, that S Pen software and the other widgets and things like that would not be on there. It would not work as well. Another thing I do like about the, the TouchWiz software is uh, it has like a virtual clipboard. So if you want to copy a bunch of things at one time, you can do that and then go back to it and paste it in different areas. That is awesome. That's productivity at its finest. I'm really looking forward to the 10.1 note because the stylus on that one actually has an eraser on the back and you can actually. When you're drawing or you're working on something, you can write and then turn around and then erase it. Uh, what's next? That's pretty much it. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that I'm still doing the giveaway for the spec cases for the iPhone 4. You need to go to that video and drop a comment. What I'm going to do is right now on the spot, I'm going to say that the last day to make an entry on there is going to be the end of March. So the last day of March is the 31st. So March 31st, I will be picking a winner. Write it down in your calendars or whatever. Uh, I, told, I said I wanted 200 likes. That was a little bit overshot because let's be honest, these cases aren't that new. Videos didn't get that much hit. So, oh well. I still want to give away a case because that's what I said I would do. And go there if you still haven't entered and enter it. And I will get with you about sending the packages to your home or office or wherever. It is U.S. only. I cannot send ship overseas. Um, I'm not spending $20 or $30 to send you guys a case. I I'm sorry. I just can't do that. What else? Uh, I just got the Motorola... Uh, Droid Razor Max from Verizon. They sent that to me finally. So I'll be doing a review on this soon. I'm actually really excited about this because the Razor was a good phone, but it was just too thin. But if you look at the Max, it's slightly thicker and it's actually on par with the iPhone 4. So I think that this is something that I might actually like. Plus, the battery in here is a 3300 milliamp battery and that is humongous. That's what she said. So I think that I might actually like this phone even better than the Galaxy Nexus. And because of the portability and the size factor, it's a nice sweet spot, you know, 4.3 inches compared to 6.5 inches. I might like this a little bit better for, you know, certain purposes, but I don't know yet. I don't want you guys to think that I have a biased opinion on this already, but I've heard great things on it. So I can't really see what I wouldn't like about it. I did like the Razer. Like I said, Motorola application portfolio is not that bad. So I'm, I'm interested to see what's, what I think of this. I will definitely put a review up for you guys. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, if you're asking why I'm not using my iPhone, um, I just I had to get my screen replaced, so I decided to go back to Android for a little bit, and I'm not missing the iPhone, um, primarily because the screen is extremely small. Yeah. That's it for the video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with the, the channel and the giveaways and what phones I'm using. and. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment down below. Uh, next time I will iron my shirt. I am pro I probably will wear a real a real shirt. I will wear I will wear a real shirt that has words on it and not an undershirt. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.